Professor, a, a moment of your time, please. Oh, Professor, shit. I was hoping to catch you. I... Oh, I, um, places to be, Professor Sharp, places to be. Of course, sir. Only, <clears throat> you'd asked me about a particular potion, and I... Well, I... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. Probably best not to discuss it here, sir. Are we about to learn a secret of blacks? Really? Why can't we talk about potions here? Seems fine to me. Very well. I've brewed the cure for boil if <laughs> you want it. I can drop it by your <laughs> office when it's convenient. Oh. <laughs> of course, yes. No need for <laughs> all the cloak and dagger. Simply have a student deliver it. A student. Uh. <laughs> Very well, sir, if you insist. Everyone's going to know I about do. this by the end of and the day. Thank you, Sharp. I just hope you've brewed enough for all my boils. <laughs> <laughs> now, to determine which student gets this rather unenviable task. <laughs> Do you guys hear that? I have boils. Oh, this is glorious. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. <laughs> She's having a lot of fun with this. Master approaching. Gareth? Gareth! Uh, uh, Mr. Weasley, what are you doing here? Don't you have uh, somewhere to be? Oh, Professor. Yes, of course. All sorts of places I'd rather be right now. Uh, do you need something from me? I'm looking for my house elf. Surely you've seen him? Ah, the little one-eared fellow. Yes. I saw him heading to the Great Hall moments ago, muttering on about your, um, sterling graces, <laughs> sir. I am watching you, Mr. Weasley. Mr. Redding, who owns Honeydukes, tells me some of his billywig stings recently went missing. Prime potion ingredient. And I know you fancy yourself a skilled potioneer. What? But, sir, I haven't been anywhere near Honeydukes. I... Bah! That's enough from you. Just know that I have eyes and ears everywhere. On your way, Mr. Weasley. You need to be quite so harsh. I mean, you are supposed to be a dick, but like, you could be a nice dick at the oh, moment. Oh, there's one for my diary. Right? But he said the Great Hall. This is not in the direction of the Great Hall. When I witness what passes for magic in these halls, I... Professor Black, how are you, sir? Mr. Peeves. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my way outside. Taking the day off, eh? Typical student, wasting the hours away. I... I have to write 20 inches on Dittany, and its uses was heading to the greenhouse. Ah, yes! Mixed with uh, bubo tuba pus makes a, a fine uh, mustache paste. Yes, mustache no, paste. No, it's for acne. Uh, I find. <clears throat> Are you feeling all right, sir? You don't seem yourself. I assure you I am quite healthy, Gaunt. If I need a medical diagnosis, I shall head to St. Mungo's. <laughs> Something is very wrong with Professor Black. Didn't he... <clears throat> I wonder oh, this is how we're getting to why the entrance I accepted I see. this appointment. Professor, a word? Professor Black? Again, it is not too late to reconsider your decision regarding Quidditch. We... We could still have trials and a somewhat shortened season. It would be better than none at all. But the injury, Madam Kagawa. Professor, more than one student has taken a bludger to the head on our Is pitch. that all that happened? I dare say it knocked some sense into them. Wow. And they are fine now. The fact that it happened to be a pure blood, well, that's no reason to... What nonsense! That you would trivialize the health of a student over a, a silly game. A silly game? I... You are quite impossible sometimes. Sir, I have a good mind to write to the Department of Magical Games and do Sports it. Ministry about you. Do it. Please do. Good idea. I can even provide the parchment should you need it. Now, <laughs> where is my elf? I do it, Kagawa. Very well, I will, and with yes. pleasure. And I spotted Scrop in the Great Hall. Seems to be avoiding me. I don't know hmm. why. I wonder why. Good day, Madam Kagawa. Brilliant, brilliant. This is wonderful. I'm enjoying this quest immensely. Could come back and finish this puzzle one day. Handled hand mirror. <laughs> Of course you haven't. She is lapping up this experience, and I love it. Hello. 
Okay, so no one else wants to talk to me. It has to be specific characters. Oh. I hope it's not about well, hello, doing. Cressida. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is an uh, interesting surprise. It's Bloom, by the way. Remind me of your area of affinity, Broom. OWLs are swift approaching. Charms, sir. Nonverbal spells. Might work on one that makes me disappear. <laughs> Keep at it, Broom. And before you know it, you'll be as invisible as that new fifth year seems to be. They're not invisible, sir. I've seen them near the library. In fact, they help me with my, uh, heavy books. <laughs> Speaking of invisible, where's my blasted house elf? Something seems a little off with the headmaster. I'm enjoying this immensely. Wait, I'm, I'm very much in character, thanks Cressida. Scrape. Where are you, you scrape? that a shine on those boots? Do better! <laughs> oh shit, Weasley. Professor, I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah, uh, since I have you here, I wonder if I might, um, speak with you about Professor Fig. Oh, very well. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh, leeway with his time. <laughs> leeway, Professor? Are you sure that's wise? I confess I do worry for his students. He's rarely here as it is. He's handling secret ministry matters, and I don't miss him. <laughs> ah, well, yes. He's handling some official ministry business for me. I see. But, sir, if I may, I am wary of how much time the new fifth year seems to be spending away from the castle, supposedly on Professor Fig's behalf. I've heard unsettling rumours of their escapades. Everything from sneaking into the Forbidden Forest to confronting Ranrock's loyalists and Rook. Well, somebody has to do it if what? Officer Singer won't. <clears throat> Goodness. You cannot believe everything you hear, Professor. No, 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 you cannot. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, I shall keep an eye on Fig. You simply keep doing the wonderful job that you're doing. <laughs> simply wonderful. I... well, I... Uh, <laughs> He's never complimented someone you. before. But I'm happy to look into uh, Good, good. That'll be all, Weasley. I, I mean, Professor Weasley. Good day. Nothing to a say. Wonderful job. Oh, there we go. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that man. <laughs> I don't think anyone understands that this man. Give Professor Fig some breathing room. Nice work, Callie. Oh, oh, we haven't been here during this season. It's magnificent. I still wish I could eat at the what fucking table. That owl has been in our family for thirty years. And you thought it would be clever to transfigure her into... into a goblet and leave her in the Great Hall after a feast? I hear the elves have had to transfigure every <sighs> goblet in the castle looking for her. Oh my I god. I jolly well proud. I mean, he's got a point. Even if you did transfigure the owl, leaving the goblet here was the dumbest thing you could have done, idiot. I just want to sit at my house table and eat some food and spend time with my friends. Why is it such a crime? Scope! Scope's as hard a worker as any house elf. Ahem! Attention, students! I hereby decree that the Great Hall be forthwith decorated in the stunning banners of Slytherin. I shall be taking no questions <laughs> at this time. Or oh, ever. <laughs> That's a bit offensive to the other houses, don't you think? Oh, that's gonna bite us in the butt. Scroop! Oh, oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scroop swear never to tell anyone. Even Master Ooh, himself. Black was quite smart. You dare question me? How dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, yes, sir. Uh, of course, sir. Uh, Scrope begs forgiveness. Sorry, Scrope. It is the Black Family Motto, Master. Hmm. Right. Of course. I, uh... Master does remember it. I don't remember the Black Family Motto. 
I want to say it has to do with purity of blood, but... Because they were a dark family, right? Well, some of them anyway. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh. It's pure blood forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is indeed testing Scrope. Uh, it is always pure. Close enough. I was close enough. Obviously. And, of course, as Master knows, in French. Oh, sweet ah. baby Jesus. Uh, yes, of course. Uh, I order you to pronounce it for me. Oh, Master knows that Scrope's French is most pitiful. <laughs> oh, very well. Uh, toujours pure. Uh, there is Dude, another mar matter, marvelous. Scrope. I confiscated this filthy diary from a student. It smells of squid and seawater. Oh, Apollonia's diary. <clears throat> that is quite a surprise, Master. What do you wish Scrope to Aww, do with this treasure? That's so sweet. Uh, rubbish. <laughs> Whatever you wish, Scrope. It's your treasure. Now, off with you. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Although that sucks that you're making it. Scrope think that wearing off. I best get out of sight. Um that uh, uh, black was the one to do it, but you know. Uh. Must you stop stop belching? Ah, <sighs> made it just in time. It's wearing off. Uh. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now, to speak the password to the gargoyle. I don't know where the gargoyle is. Can you please give me some navigation? Apologies, plot. In the next part of the quest? No. Okay, I'll find it for myself. Or I'll patiently wait a few more seconds. It takes a very long time to uh, instigate the next parts of the quest. Come on. If you think I know where the bloody hell I'm going, you would be sorely mistaken. There we go. That's one critique I have about the game, is that it just takes so freaking long for navigation for the next quest to appear so you can navigate. Like, we've completed the quest. Immediately give me the next part. Don't wait 10, 15 seconds. It's frustrating. I don't really remember where it is. I know we've been here before. Did we go this way? This does not seem familiar. Revelio. I hear whispers. Hushed whispers. Could just be that. I'm looking for um oh. I just noticed this. This is pretty. Uh, field scrolls. Nope. There are none. And that is fine. Revelio. The gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. The staircase that leads up to the headmaster's office is guarded by an enchanted gargoyle that will let only those who know the password enter. Though anyone choosing to visit the current occupant of the office is difficult to fathom. This is a very good point. Lumos. Uh, somewhere in here. Oh, no, it isn't. What's down the other end here? Ah, well, you see. Uh-huh. Not quite sure what to do about that one. anything with the appropriate ceiling and this feels like I've gone an awful long way out of the way oh there it is come here I think these locks are mocking me they jingle every time I pass nope this way Yeah. Lumos 
Was I not close enough? Motherfucker, I could go way back down. <sighs> How frustrating that they immediately go back to where they came from. How very annoying. I stood right in front of it. Twenty-three of fifty, as if. Whisper the password. Toujours pure. Jesus, that was brutal, Callie. Never take up French. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Um, they do. Sleeping portraits. Not all headmasters and headmistresses enjoy reliving the day-to-day -day challenges of running a school of witchcraft and wizardry. Some prefer to enjoy a well-earned nap when possible. Oh wow, they are all napping. Hmm. Rebellion. Hmm. The sorting hat. This enchanted hat was created by the four founders of Hogwarts as the means by which students would be placed into one of the four schoolhouses. Skilled at legilimency. Legilimency. Yep. The sorting hat can see into the wearer's head, allowing it to determine their thoughts and abilities. Hi. Do you just nap for a year? It seems tedious. It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. Okay. She won't what tell me. What can I expect to find in the book? A story. I cannot say yeah, more. They're all very cryptic. You may recognize Look some elements of it as I was inspired by a tale with which many wizarding children are familiar. Interesting. So a Beetle the Barb tale? I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions are correct. We shall speak when you are finished. Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Entirely possible. Revelio. No, the note, Callie, the note. Fine. Don't read the note. Receipt hair tonic, moustache wax, bundamun pomade, comb, pearl handled, back scratcher, gold handled, doxyside. Ha! Huh. Paid a very small part, made to be built to the ministry. I still can't get whatever that is. That must be the pedestal. But I want this. So mean. The pensive! This is a weirdly prominent place for this. Well, that's a thing. Oh, I saw some Slytherin banners there. Where am I? Ugh. Professor Fitzgerald. This is attractive. Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. What's you Neve? shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always. Well, this will be interesting. You must move and cautiously use the tools you encounter to find me. This is cute. I like this. The first you will need is a cloak. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Oh, okay. Hide and seek. Oh dear. Um, and this is going to be challenging. Make your way through town without being seen. Okay, that was actually quite easy. Never mind. I 
Oh dear. This is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. Going to need you to turn around there, sir. I need to time this just right. Mm-hmm. Sprint! I see. A staircase straight ahead. The staircase? Okay. Oh, yes, I suppose that is a staircase. But wouldn't they see the water move? Death. I just love the art style. This is this is creative. I mean this is a temp level in a game. I, I enjoy this. How could this happen? There was voices. Oh well. A ladder. Perhaps they won't be able to find me if I go up there. Oh, I was going to check on the house, but you know. Ugh. Go quickly. Go very quickly. Whoosh. I was going to check on the house, but I guess not. Uh, what are we doing from the ladder? Oh, hello. These trees look cool. These thorned trees. Holy shit, look at the map! God, so Best many more of them appeared. Can. Eve must be here somewhere. Stay hidden, sir. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. To go where? Where are we going, Callie? Oh, I got stuck on the wall. That's where I need to go. But I need to find a way past them. I didn't see you there, sir. I'm so sorry. I did not see you. I saw your other friend. This is the first death I've had in the game! Your journey has ended. My first death comes at level 32, guys. That's a, that's a new record even for me. <laughs> um, can you please make yourself invisible? They're gone. Thank you. For now. I need to get out of here. Where could Neve be? Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. Yeah, as soon as all my moves. Now go! Go! She's like, I must cross as fast as possible, and then she just refuses to sprint. Okay, now I see you. That's where I need to go. But I need to find a way I past them. I couldn't see you before. I'm gonna need to do something more constructive, sir. Can you go? Oh, why would you move, sir? The whole point was that you didn't move, so I was going around you. Come on, birds, you're gonna get my position away. Hello, sir. Nothing this way but more danger. I don't know why you're trying to there attack way to find you. the people of the village. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Ah! Thank you. That was very timely. Oh, that doorway looks like the only safe way forward. That doorway, you say? This is going to be interesting. Oh, see, baby Jesus. Why would you do such a thing? Now's my chance. I know. I'm taking it. What's with all the death, though? What's the purpose of all the death? Why are they killing all the people in the village? What are they looking for? Well, we have the invisibility cloak. Fantastic. Can and I was be? correct. It I was a Beetle the Bard tale. 
But what does this have to do with the quest for the thingies? What does this have to do with the quest? Can't me at all. I can get closer to them. With the trials. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now, where are you, Neve? What more symbolism can we possibly attribute you to the story of the three brothers? Thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Well, that sucks. Wield the one Elder you see wand. before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. The Elder Wand, but where's the stone? You've skipped the middle. O object? Elum? Hello? <laughs> what will we call it? I've never felt such power. Are we just using my magic? No, we have access to. I think that's incendio. Uh, push the shit away, descendo or whatever it is, and the yeah that. Defender, bombarda. Ah, bombarda. Great, let's kill, rip, tear. What is this, doom? Oopsies. Oh, that is not a button we can use. Oh, they die really quickly. They have really low level. Never mind. Uh, we completed a, a, a dealing fate. I don't know what it was, but we completed one. Oh, my magic um, recently. So I don't know if has low cooldown. Everything around me. Well, I can use my X. Except everyone's already dead, so I can't use my X. Do they drop things? Oh. Switch to slayer. It doesn't matter, I've got four bars anyway. What's the point? There's no loot. Or if there is, I'd be amazed. I don't think I can play a full game like this. It is quite painful. There is loot. Oh, potion. Yeah, makes sense. Hello, sir. Am I fighting you? Some friends. Friends. Yeah. 
out of here. Come on. I thought he was dead, so that's why I didn't bother stopping the uh, impact. More? Oh, can I not just leave? No, no, I can't. Oh my god, why is this car so difficult? He's coming to it. He said, you know, he's got too. I did block that, but sure. I did not see him. That's you. Just use one more big guy. I no, I definitely was pressing A. Definitely wasn't hitting Q. Okay, that time I just fell in the Alright. And what do you want from me, sir? Let to get the oh it disappeared, never mind. It's really hard using abilities that you're not used to in this order. Neve, though. Pretty music. A simple stone. This must be for me. You found it. Wait. This is a little pyramidian. Like the relic that Sebastian has. Looks different though, this has got the halo symbol on it. You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. I can't believe she's Oh poor Neve. Let us all Oh, this is Neve's funeral. Oh dear. What happened, and how is this connected to the Hallows? Well, I found you. Am I supposed to be using the Resurrection Stone on you? Yes, I am. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. Hello. Witness me Fitzgerald's memory. I would if I had a pensive. Hello, there you are. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. This is a pretty one. Remember that. As you witness my memory. I'm just not quite sure what the storybook has to do with anything, though. I don't understand the connection, Neve. I don't understand the connection. Is it too obtuse for me to comprehend? I don't know. It's 
don't know what those are. Isadora, what you did for your father was remarkable. Well, wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits... You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw what I did for my father. Only have imagine the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. She's so sanctimonious. Oh my god. You attacked her? Oh my god. Can you feel it? She is power hungry. Oh, it's Adora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it. What kind of effect did that have on you long term? Even short term? I can't imagine it's very healthy. Oh, we're in a real location. Somewhere. Revelio. Pigs here. Hello. Is it true? Has Sam someone Bacar? completed the first three trials? I've been to your tower, by the way. It is, and I have. But you are so... Young. I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed. Was Isadora inhaling painful emotions? She was. I found it disturbing. But how did she gain power from it? How did she harness it? It was disturbing. Although, I wonder that you are asking about her power. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand the responsibility of I said I found power. it disturbing. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. He has learned to harness the contents of it as a source of immense power. He plans to use that power against wizard kind. We have no time to waste. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall gain after you witness my memories is too valuable to share without further consideration. I shall require time to confer with the other keepers. Okay. It seems we have no choice but to wait, frustrating as it is. It's very frustrating. I heard what you told Professor Bakar. Isadora was inhaling emotions to gain power. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She was, and she pulled emotions as she did from her father, from Professor Fitzgerald, without permission. Monstrous. Mm -hmm. What's more, she said that she found a way to store the traces of magic she extracted in Goblin Silver. The repositories? Mm -hmm. Possibly. There's something I didn't get a chance to tell you earlier. Ranrock has been digging at locations tied to the five names he found in the journals of a goblin metal worker named Bragball. Five names? The Keepers, and who else? Isadora Morganac? Mm -hmm. Precisely. That's how he's been one step ahead of us. Gringotts, the Tower, Rookwood Castle. If the Keepers won't tell you where the next trial is yet, I say we at least maintain a watch on Ranrock. Perhaps he'll lead us to more information. That seems a Perhaps. tad optimistic. I hope to hear from Lodgog soon. I haven't heard anything since I learned of the drills. Oh, and as you've probably guessed by now, your Polyjuice plan worked like a charm. I knew it would. I may have done too good a job distracting Black. I had no idea he can't hold his fire whiskey. 
You know now. Oh, and he also has a boil problem. Just FYI. I think everybody should know that. And everybody may know that before I'm done. Mm hmm. Do we get a next step? See what I mean? It's so slow and time consuming. Phoenix Rising. I wonder what Deke. Oh, the missing Phoenix! Yes. We're not talking to him in the room of the requirement. Just gonna go to the room requirement because that's where we normally meet him. Surely he'll still be here. Yeah, there he is. Deke has some exciting news to share. Cool. I'm just gonna check on my babies. And are you gonna expand my room at all with the bottom levels? Because they don't really seem to be in use at the moment. Oh, you haven't eaten either. Too busy making babies. Come on, you damn things. Let me interact with you. I'm not doing this for my own benefit. I don't use these. I was just trying to be nice and groom y'all. If you don't want to be groomed, it's fine by me. I don't have to groom you. Two. What do we got? Seven. That's right. Make it eight. How many things did I have to get? Upgrading rescue beasts. Oh, breed ten unique beasts. Uh, I was just breeding them. I wasn't doing <laughs> unique. I don't care enough for that. Deke has some exciting news to share. What is it? Hello, Deke. Professor Weasley said you had an idea. Indeed, Deke does. Deke knows that you want to learn about all sorts of beasts. And Deke recently heard rumors of a phoenix nest in a nearby mountain. Let's a go. Phoenix nest. I wonder if it belongs to the phoenix Natty mentioned, the one Harlow and the poacher pack are after. Deke would not doubt it. If Deke has heard of it, surely the nasty poachers have as well, which means it could be in we danger. must go. Post haste. Well, I'd better go and rescue it Oh, it's it going then, to be I? troublesome, isn't Deke it? Deke thinks so. So majestic a beast should not fall into such vile hands. The thestrals were hard. Deke is not sure why, but Deke feels that saving a phoenix might help to make amends for what happened with Deke's mm -hmm. prior master. Mm -hmm. Deke understand. hopes that you are able to find the phoenix and bring it to the room where it will be safe. Search the cave. Which cave would that be? Close by? Hmm. Why could you not simply go across there? Why would you have to go the whole way around? Makes no sense. Okay, well, yeah. I'm waiting for the main mission to take me there. Requires Bombarda. Meet Sebastian along the coast. So this is what I mean. Now I have a reason to go there. I have a main mission. Hello? Thank you. Don't know what the fuck that was about. Um, holds me. Someone has a quest for me, though. Central Square. The unique unicorn. Okay. I don't know if they mean it literally or not, so I don't want to read the description. Can't 
get any more cozy than Hogsmeade. Maybe you ought to feel guilty. Oh, wow. That, you, 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 I oh. beg your pardon, but would you mind helping out an old woman? Betty! Uh. Let me just re-travel here in the hopes that it, you, you render in a little better this time. Otherwise I may have to quit and reopen because you have some serious issues, Betty. Okay, Betty's just broken. Okay, Betty, let's go. This is gonna be awkward. Is everything all right? Oh, bless you! Oh, thank you for asking. No idea what Betty looks and like. Betty, Betty Bugbrook, and no, everything is not all right. It's my dear friend Hazel. I couldn't be bothered to log <gasps> out. She's in trouble. Hazel. Yes. Oh, she's a unicorn. It is a unicorn. Known her for years. She doesn't like to leave the forest, so I visit her once a week to brush out her mane and bring her some treats. <gasps> her coat is glorious. Well, the last time I saw her, we were violently attacked by a pack of wolves. Hazel, loyal friend that she is, leapt in front to protect me, and in the process, I fear she may have been injured. I'm sorry to hear that. I want to help her, but she seems to have gone into hiding. Out of fear, I'd imagine. I know you Hogwarts students learn a fair bit about caring for beasts. Perhaps you could find my unicorn friend and get her somewhere safe so that she can heal. Okay, how'd you become friends with a unicorn? How did you become so close with the unicorn? It was luck, truly. I came across her when she was a little golden foal. Didn't even have a horn yet. Oh, she trusted me straight away. We'd play together for hours. Oh, I do hope she'll be all right. Unicorn hair is a valuable wand core, and I suppose losing a hair or two mightn't hurt her. But I'm terrified those poachers will want her for her blood yeah, to keep that themselves was my fear alive. As well. And that is more than I can bear to think of. I'll keep an eye out for your unicorn friend and take her to safety if I see her. Oh, Does that mean I can take her to the room of requirement? Do we consider that safety? Tell. Please, Ooh, you say don't yes, please. risk your own safety, though. I don't know precisely where she is, but I can tell you that her den is north of Hogsmeade. And okay. although I haven't been able to brush her lately, I imagine she still has the brightest, most Beautiful coat of her entire herd. I still think it's terrible that we're just remember taking these creatures from the native habitat. Oopsies, well, ma'am, it just doesn't feel right at all. Yeah, poachers may get them, but at least they're in their native habitat. Sticking them in a demi plane is not the answer. Said that travel I don't like it at all. I need to look for a unicorn with a beautifully bright coat. Sounds as if she's in trouble. Well, this one at least we can help uh, because she's Abandoned injured. Long ago, no doubt. But I mean, I just still don't like it. Just in case we get some really expensive structures we need. I doubt it, but it doesn't hurt to plan ahead. Okay, oh. poachers or spiders? Oh. Mongrels, now the above. Whoopsies, I'm setting the place on fire. Must be here somewhere. There are two. Revelio. 
Rebellion. Seven, two seconds ago, where'd you go? There you are. Are you? Arrest the momentum. This is not what we're here for. Oh my Hell god, no, these I'm things are to help. impossible to catch. I might need some help with this one. Google! The internet is of no help. But one website was rep uh, was recommending Livioso instead of that. Uh, but they also said that you should be in disillusionment while you do it. There you are. There you are. Oh, you're facing me, so this is probably not good. You're probably going to be aware of me. Oh, no, you're not. Yes, you are. If you could just come back. I'm stuck and can't move over. I need to get as close to you as possible. Oh, I just hit the wrong button. Whoopsies. That's oh, what I hate don't. about the stupid sack. Once it starts, you're fucked. Okay, let's try this again, shall we? I'm so sorry. I was hitting... I don't even know what I was hitting. I wasn't hitting a... Flavio. Had a bad start, so this is not looking good. I got you! I got a unicorn! I'll look after you. Revelio. Oh my god! Revelio. Don't see any more though. Where the bloody hell is Hazel? And where are the other unicorns? If they're not the unicorn den. What is this marker over here? Hey, Hazel! Let him see. I'm too far away. It's letting me move. This is a miracle. It doesn't really let me move. Come on, more Hazel! Hazel! No need to be difficult. I mean you no harm. Run! Only muggles fall to such ailments. You really do well. Damn unicorn. Look, I'm stealthy. Go! <laughs> gotcha, Hazel. Get some pretty markings. I can take Hazel back to a vivarium now. I should let Madame Bugworth know she's safe. Yeah, let's just go back to the den, though. See if anyone's gonna just mysteriously appear. Uh, this way. Okay. Not the way I thought we were going, but sure. <laughs> ah, but you trusted the wrong kind. Oh, we got here echo, just in time. Because now the poachers are here. Hmm. You need to leave. I don't think the unicorns are going to come. Probably quickly from Crucio. And who else is here? Poachers are not allowed. Stay away from the unicorns. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Downside is that they still haven't reappeared. Oh, there's a measle in here. 
Alohomora. I didn't even notice the measle. Sorry about this. Cage beast kept rescued. Do care for it, won't you? Mac, 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 bitch! I've got stuff from scratch. No, she's gonna run off again. She hit it. So I need to rescue another nasal because there's no nasal dents. There, there. I'm not going to hurt you. There are no nasal dents. Hmm. I wonder if we go in a corner, do a bit of that. not the unicorn den. I don't think this is the unicorn den. That's the unicorn den. <sighs> you find moon calves, I don't want you. In the nicest possible way, of course. Repair it. No. Double press. Are there any here? Or did I already take all the unicorns imaginable? Revelia. I think I took all the unicorns already. And fair enough. I don't know if they're a preferred time of day. I think we have to wait a while for them to come back. That's okay. We have two. I don't know if they're of differing genders, but we have two. Who gave me this quest again? Ah, the invisible lady in Hogsmeade. I fear she may still be invisible. Oh well. Look, I haven't had that many bugs that in the game at all, so I'll take it. Yeah, she's still having um issues. Madam Bugbrook, I found your unicorn friend Hazel. Oh, what a relief! Is she all right? Are you all right? Do you have a safe place for her to stay? I do. We're both fine, and I have a safe place for her at Hogwarts. You've a kind heart, you do. I'm relieved and thankful that you'll take care of her. I shall miss my sweet pointy pony, but I know she's safer away pointy from the poachers. Pony. Do give her a nice wow. portion for me, won't you? You better believe I will. And then she's gonna mate, and then I'm gonna have them. baby unicorns. Assuming they're of differing genders, which I don't yet know. Uh, the problem, however, is that I don't have the most amount of space available. <sighs> she has to go on the plains, I think. I don't think the swamp would be the correct place for her. Hmm, okay, well, someone has to go. Who's going? The puff skeins, I think. Yeah, the puff skeins. Professor Howen will never believe this. No! They're both female! <sighs> okay. We'll go sell the bloody unicorn! No, mm -hmm. Put the nasal, put the nasal in. I mean, we might get two males at some point, you never know. So peeved. There you 
go, Hazel. I'll at least give you some love. Enjoying yourself, generic unicorn? Don't know what the hair's for, but I'll take it. Ah. <sighs> Bugger it. Ooh, you're extra black. Calico, you made a dark off spawn. I like it. Oh no, it's just a light. Never mind. I think he's the same as his brother. Don't harp on him. I could give you love, but I could also not. Because I need to find two male unicorns. Do you, do you know where to find unicorns? Because I don't really know where to go other than that. I mean, I suppose now that we've got one, maybe more dens will change? Or is that going to be the only den? Hippogriff den. I only need the two. So that's the moon calf and that's the unicorn. Is there literally just the one? <sighs> um, I'll go back, but I don't think they're spawning. Hmm. I'm not too sure what to do. On another adventure, are we? Hmm. Seems a pleasant enough little place. This looks intriguing. Don't barrel on in on your broom, you twit. Yes! Please be male! I can't afford any more females. They're expensive upkeep, you know. What is with you bloody women? Do I have to sell you? I just want a male. I'm invisible. You shouldn't be running away from me. Is it because I used magic? Ooh, you know this whirly pattern. Everything's all right now. Okay, so what if we go away and keep changing the time of day? Surely they won't let you just farm unicorns. Right? That seems a little careless. But why are they all female? Do they not, oh, maybe they don't want you to breed unicorns. Maybe it's just not meant to be. Maybe we just need to take our third female unicorn and be done with it. Call it a day and then go after a phoenix. Oh, that's a bit far away. Gotta explore first. If I do it one more time, shouldn't that put us at the same time as usual? Is so it when we started? No, okay, we're done. The unicorn hunt is done. Rebellion. It's just not happening. That's okay. That is okay. You can't have everything, so we're not having breeding unicorns. That's okay. It's not the end of the world, you know? At least I have unicorns. That's something. It's cool. I think it's cool. The way they just come towards me when I arrive. Oh shit, I am so sorry. I forgot that it changed. Oh, my spell set. I'm so sorry it changed my spell set. I'm so sorry, High Wing. I am so sorry. Caligo is coming over for some love as well. And hopefully not an incendio to the face. Sorry, Confringo to the face. 
You've been given love. You need some love. Are you my new unicorn? No, you're not my uni new unicorn. <laughs> or are you? I don't know if you are or not. Generic unicorn nonetheless. What does the plus mean? Hey, Nizzle. Oh, listen to that pairing. I've already given you love, High Wing. Okay, so that was my new unicorn. Right, okay, cool. Let my brush give you some love, Hippogriff offspring. There you go. Has everyone been giving some love? Yes? Okay. I need some more measles in my life. I can become the crazy cat lady. Yeah! A worthy goal in life. Uh. What was with the door? Why would that, why did that close? Dick. What's happening? Can we please get a use for this downstairs? I have absolutely no purpose for it. Maybe it wants to expand a little bit. I've completely lost Deke. Oh my god, where did he go? There he is. Deke thinks you should be proud of all the potions you've brewed. Oh, never mind. I'll go find the phoenix. Don't you worry. Sometime. In the kind of near future. Maybe. 